everyone, my name is Alex. Welcome back to our channel. It's EO's Marketplace News. So guys, for this video, I will be bringing with you the price analysis as of November 16 for the top 10, okay, top 10 cryptocurrency. So I know that you're really excited to hear the update. So let's start. Now, this price analysis is brought to us by PCN or PreferredCurrency.News. For Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, and Dash. Alright. Bitcoin saw its third worst drop of 2018 on November 14. As it broke down to New Year to date lows. In doing so, it broke through the critical support of $5,900, which had held throughout the year prior to the uh, prior to the breakdown. Bitcoin had entered a period of low volatility not seen in years. We were expecting the resolution of the tight range in cryptocurrencies to be to the upside. Our bias was on the long side. However, with the fall, um, the technical picture has weakened and our assumption was proven wrong. We need to reassess our strategy in this new backdrop. Interest, um, interestingly, not all cryptocurrencies have followed Bitcoin to the new year, uh, new year to date lows. There are a few that have held out quite well. Ripple has overtaken Ethereum as the second most valuable cryptocurrency in terms of market capitalization. So, there are some bright spots even in this mayhem. Bitcoin Cash has completed its fork without any major incident. However, as it is still in its early days, we have skipped analyzing either coin today. <clears throat> After the recent fall, how should traders approach the markets? Is it time to step aside and wait or do some cryptocurrencies offer a buying opportunity? Let's study the charts and find out. <clears throat> Alright, for first up... BTC and USD. Bitcoin plunged below the support of $5,900 on November 14 to an intraday low of $5,737.02. The closing of the day was at $5,932.75, which shows buying near the lows. Nevertheless, the bears continued their selling the next day plummeting prices further to $5,430.02, <clears throat> which was just below the support at $5,450. Some buying was seen again at the lower levels as the digital currency recovered, um, lost ground, and closed at $5,747.05. So the pullback from the intraday lows in the past two days shows that the lower levels are attracting buying. This points to a retest of the breakdown level of $5,900 in the next four to five days. The performance of the BTC and USD pair at the $5,900 levels will give us a better idea on what to expect. If the pulls easily break out and sustain above $5,900, then this current fall will be a fake out, which took out all the weaker hands on the long side before moving up. <coughs> all right. On the other hand, if the bears defend the $5,900 to $6,075 levels and the virtual currency turns down from there, it will indicate selling by the long position stuck at higher levels and short initiation by traders who anticipate lower levels in the future. Alright, so guys, that's for BTC and USD pair. So, what should traders do? A good question. A new year to date low shows weakness, hence long position should not be initiated until a bottom is confirmed. As the RSI is deep in the oversold territory, a short position is also not advisable because a sharp pullback can occur at any time. Due to the uncertainty, it is best to sit out and wait for a few days. If the price scales $5,900 and sustains above it, 
we might attempt to go alone once again. Any break above $6,832 will be a confirmation that a new uptrend has started. Until then, the digital currency is at a risk of turning down again. Analysts will mention various lower levels that can be scary. Let's take it one step at a time and act accordingly without being influenced by the noise. Correct. I agree. <coughs> All right. XRP and USD. So, guys, Ripple is showing considerable strength and is well above its year-to-date lows. In fact, it did not even fall to its first major support at $0.37185 in the recent carnage which shows a strength currently the xrp and usd pair is facing resistance at the moving averages if this is crossed the downtrend line is the next resistance we believe there will be a strong defense of this zone from the bears after the downtrend line is crossed the digital currency might move up to 0.565 dollars and above that to 0.625 the flat moving averages and the RSI close to the midpoint suggest a range um, formation in the near term. On the downside, a break, out, um, a break of the uptrend line and $0.37185 will invite selling that can result in a drop to $0.24508. Alright, so <clears throat> I just want to congratulate Ripple for being the second... Um, the second top most for the cryptocurrency. Congratulations. All right, next, <clears throat> ETH and USD. The bulls are trying to keep Ethereum above the year-to-date lows of $167.32 from September 12. On November 15, the price dipped to a low of $171.36 were buying merge. <clears throat> Any break of $167.32 will resume the downtrend, plunging the ETH and USD pair to the lower levels of $136 and $110. The 20-day EMA has started to turn down while the RSI is close to oversold levels, which shows that the bears have a firm grip in the near term. However, if the bulls rebound from the support and sustain above $188.35, it will increase the probability of a consolidation. First, indication of a new uptrend will appear when the digital currency sustains above $249.93. Alright, so guys, XLM and USD. Stellar continues to trade inside the ascending channel. However, its intraday low of 0.214 94424 on November 15 triggered our suggested um, suggested stop loss at $0.22. For the past two days, the bulls have bought aggressively on sharp dips, which is a positive sign. This shows that the buyers are using lower prices to add to their position. The moving averages are currently flat and the RSI is close to 50 levels, which points to a consolidation in the short term. If this support line of the channel holds, the XLM and USD pair is likely to move up to the top of the channel. We shall wait for a new buy setup to form before proposing long positions. Alright, so here guys, EOS and USD. So for EOS broke below the support of 4.493 on November 15, but buy at lower levels push prices back above it. Currently, the bears are again attempting to break below the support and sink prices to the next support zone of 4.1778 dollars to 3.8723 dollars. Um, the downsloping 20-day EMA and the RSI in the negative zone show that the sellers have an upper hand. The downtrend will resume on a dec um, decline below $3.8723. If the bull succeed in defending the support zone between $4.1778 to $3.8723, the EOS and USD pair will extend its stay inside the range. So we shall wait for it to stabilize and show signs of a turnaround before turning positive on it. Right. Okay. 
Guys, next, LTC and USD. Litecoin made successive New Year to date law lows on November 14 and 15, which shows that it is one of the weaker cryptocurrencies. After breaking below the support at $47.246 on November 14, it followed up with a new low the next day, which was close to our first lower target of $40. So, though prices have bounced from the lows, the pullback lacks strength. Even small intraday rallies are met with strong selling pressure. If the LTC and USD pair breaks down of $40, it can slide to the next support at $32. So, the downtrending moving averages and the RSI, um, and the, uh, where am I? And the RSI in the oversold zone show that the sellers are in command so the first signs of recovery will be when the digital currency climbs back above fifty dollars and sustains it until then every pullback will be sold into all right ada and usd so cardano broke below the critical support of 0 0.060105 on november 15 but the bears could not sustain below the lows. The bulls are currently trying to keep prices above $0.060105 while the bears are attempting to break below it. If the bears succeed, the ADA and USD pair can slide to $0.043722. However, if the bulls succeed, the digital currency will extend its consolidation in the 0 0.060105 to 0 0.094256 range. All right. So, um, guys, um, XMR and USD. So, Monero bounced off the critical support at $81 on November 15, but higher levels are attracting selling by the bears. So, a break of $81 will resume the downtrend in the same prices towards the lower support at $61.50. If the bull succeeded in holding $81, a pullback to $100.453 is probable. If the price rises above $100.453, um, the XMR and USD pair might extend its stay in the range. We shall wait for a confirmation that the short-term bottom is in place before suggesting a trade. Next, TRX and USD. The bulls, um, the bulls have been attempting to keep Tron above the critical support at $0.0183. So any break of this level can be sold. In a fall to zero point zero one five eight seven six eight one dollars, which is the intraday low of August fourteen. If this level also breaks, the next support to watch on the downside is zero point zero one zero nine five three eight three dollars. So if the zero point zero one eight three dollar level holds. Um, the TRX and USD pair can extend its stay inside a large range of $0.0183 up to $0.0281552.1. We shall wait for the rebound to show strength before forming a bullish opinion. A rally above $0.0281552.1. Um, will indicate the start of a new uptrend. Until then, we recommend traders stay on the sidelines. All right. Ooh, last but not the least, new on the list, Dash and USD. So Dash is currently attempting to hold the support at $129.58. If the bears break below this level, the next stop is $113. If this level also gives away the slide can extend to $87. So the downsloping moving averages and the RSI close to the oversold levels shows that the bears have an upper hand and the path of least resistance is to the downside. However, if the bull succeed in defending the $129.58 level, a rebound to the 20-day EMA followed by a move to the downtrend line is possible. We shall wait for the Dash and USD pair to sustain above the downtrend line before turning positive. Alright, so 
guys here here you go this is the latest enterprise analysis um as of november 16. now i hope that you have taken down notes right okay so i know that you like to have um updates and the recent you know the current news in the crypto world so please visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now so that you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates now how if you have questions queries and concerns you can contact us directly through the website your name and email is required and of course your message and just simply hit send now if you like to um to talk or to contact directly the man behind preferred currency news his name is donald lewis or you can call him donald the guru you can call his number at 1801-601-8105 whatsapp at 1801-471-6939 skype id donald.fcda you can follow him on twitter at preferred crypto um, telegram channel you can join our telegram channel which is preferred crypto dot news and you can send a private message to Donald Lewis at preferred crypto on telegram All right so guys if you will become one of our subscribers you can become also one of our affiliates all right how if you can see here the link on the upper right hand you can just click affiliate and then it will take you to the page where it says how to become one all right so now guys let me show you um what will you be getting when you subscribe all right so you will be getting a newsletter every day that's via email 12 hours before we post videos on youtube so what is in the newsletter let me show you here this is the first part of the newsletter as you can see the um it's the um recent or the current the current um the current updates and news but if you like to check out other news even if it is previous news you can just check it the um, the news or arrange here monthly okay now let me introduce to you the donald's research list for me it's the most or it's the second important part of the newsletter let me show you here just click open spreadsheet okay now if you click open spreadsheet it will take you to this of course a spreadsheet right okay now this spreadsheet is a complete list of tokens and coins now why is it very important like i said because for me it's important because i know that it is really important to keep track on the status of your tokens or coins so donald's research list give you gives you that benefit all right now but please guys remember this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything okay you must research each one for yourself and then you can decide after that all right so guys here yes this is a complete list of tokens and coins and their status is, is here now for example oh but wait maybe you're wondering what is why is it that there's a lot of colors there's yellow tan green blue right um every color has um is sign uh, that does signifies for example red have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow or fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so when you subscribe to preferred currency um you can have a copy of the donald's research list every day okay so guys <clears throat> for example as of november um 18 2018 usd recent price 5538.9486 that's for bitcoin all right share total market volume 0.32993537 32 percent for google searches compared to the past seven days Ooh, it's already crossing up 50 for sma movement number of positive technical indicators one 24 hours current volume versus price zero seven days weekly volume versus price it's 1.8 
30 days monthly volume versus price, it's 2.77 and percent issued, it's 82.77 percent. All right, now if you like to search or to find out what are the current updates um, in another coin, for example, you can just click Control F and then type down the name of the token or coin here. For example, I want to know the status of EOS. Where can I find EOS? There. So EOS as of today, USD recent price is 4.527.32994. Share of total market volume is 0 0.06231952. 86% for Google searches compared to the past seven days. Oh, it's also crossing up 50. Number of positive technical indicators, 3. 24 hours current volume versus price zero seven days weekly volume versus price it's 2.54 and monthly volume versus price it's 7.54 and lastly percent i should it's 90.06 percent all right so there you go guys that's simple right so um d those who are doing their research are we only um, we always do our research, right? I believe that uh, the status of the coin, for example, Bitcoin, if you can see a token or coin and in its row, there's a lot of green and blue, make it a priority for your um, research because they're showing the good, um, good status of that coin. So maybe you can, <clears throat> you can search them first right okay so guys that's it now maybe you're asking how how to subscribe all right here you can pay using your preferred method first is you can use paypal for monthly recurring for only 15 dollars per month fiat or you can if you like you can use the coinbase option for 180 dollars annual subscription that's to be paid with crypto all right so guys what are you waiting for Visit Preferred Currency News and subscribe now. All right. So, um, guys, that has been the update for today. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have comments, any suggestion, or anything that in your mind that you want to share with us, please feel free to put that in the comment section below. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much. This has been Alex now signing off. Bye.